Hi everyone, it's me. Today, we are starting something so exciting. First of all, I would like to announce that I finally have invested in some weights. It's been a long time coming, but it's time to officially retire my wine bottles. So let's have a moment to commemorate my wine bottles and just thank them for all the use they have given me this past year. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just bought these eight pounders off of Amazon because they were the cheapest ones I could find that were like a decent weight But I did buy these for a specific purpose and that purpose is to finally try a Caroline Gervin workout routine <laughs> So I'm sure you've all seen or heard of her new program called Epic Heat. This one is her freshest program and that is the one I'm going to try. So I chose Epic Heat because it's fresh and also she mentioned it was 30 minutes of workouts every single day, which is actually exactly the amount of time I like to work out every single day. I do like the shorter sessions more frequently. So for this week, I'm going to join in on her program and see how it is. I have only ever done like single standalone workouts from Caroline Gervin. I've never tried any of her programs before, so I'm kind of scared because I know her workouts are super, super tough, but I'm also pretty excited at the same time. So for this week, I have decided to do week two of her epic heat. I chose this one over week one or week three because to be honest, it just has less leg days. <laughs> and you all know how I feel about leg and booty workouts. So to break down this week, day one is a chest and triceps day. So that's what I'll be starting with today. Day two is a tricep leg day. Day three is back and biceps. Day four is an active rest day. Day five is full body calisthenics, which I'm the most excited for that day, I think. I feel like calisthenics is something that I would enjoy. <laughs> day six is rest and day seven is the last day of the week, which is a dumbbell hit. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing this video. I will be giving you my usual calorie tracking, my intensity score, and my fun score. So let's get into day one. <laughs> okay, so for the stats of this workout, the total run time on my watch says 32 minutes and 40 seconds. Total calories says 96. Oh my gosh. So the structure of this workout, the entire workout was supersets. Each superset was 40 seconds active for each exercise. So a total of a minute and 30 seconds active for each superset. And then between each superset, there was a 30 second break. So it was 45 on, 45 on, 30 second off. Each superset was then repeated three times. So yeah, definitely a killer here. <sighs> I find it funny too because while she's filming the video she mentioned she was using weights that were like 17 and a half pounds and I'm over here with my little eight pounders like dying. I did have to modify a few exercises so along the way the more push-ups she did the more floppy my arms felt so I did end up doing a lot of push-ups on the knees instead of the full form which there's no shame in that. <laughs> Caroline is just like super strength. So for my ratings on this one for intensity you know I'm gonna have to give it a 10. I feel like the fact that I had to modify exercises in the first place just indicates that this was a level 10. For fun factor, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. Was it my favorite upper body workout of all time? Probably not. Was it one of the most effective? Probably yes. <laughs> I have done another upper body workout from her channel before, and I'm pretty sure that one did have less repeats than this one, if any at all. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, 
You know how I feel about repeats. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Tomorrow is a leg day, so I'm actually looking forward to it. <laughs> Weird of me to say, but because I know my arms are gonna be dead tomorrow, I'm glad tomorrow's a leg day. Okay, you guys, my chest and my triceps are definitely tray, tray sore today. But today we're giving upper body a little bit of a break and we are doing our dreaded leg day. Who knows, maybe Caroline will make us love leg day. Let's see how it goes. Definitely feeling the heat today. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Okay, so total run time. Oh my gosh. It's another one of those crazy sweaty days for me. 36 minutes and 42 seconds. She does also include a little stretch at the end of all of her workouts, which I love that. And total calories for this one is 177. This one was hard. So yeah, the entire workout was triceps. It's just like a superset, but with three instead. So it's three active exercises in a row and then a break, and then you start the next triceps. Each exercise was active for 30 seconds and then all the breaks were 30 seconds long There were actually less repeats in this one than the exercise yesterday There was one exercise that she kept going back to which was lateral squats Which you know out of the entire squat family lateral squats are the ones that I dislike the least <laughs> So I didn't mind that she kept repeating the lateral squats and then all the triceps in between those ones just kept alternating So yeah, this one was tough although I did get through this entire workout without needing to modify So yesterday I gave an intensity rating of 10 today just because I didn't modify I'm gonna give it a 9.8 It was still super super intense, but I was able to get through the entire thing and then for fun You know what I'm gonna give an eight. <laughs> Shocking, I know. I enjoyed the leg day more than the chest and tricep day. Who would have thunk? <laughs> you rock, Caroline, for not actually making me hate leg day today. Tomorrow is, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is back and biceps. So I'm hoping my upper body is not sore anymore tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully I heal up. I'll have to eat lots of good food today to help restore my muscles. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so today's video is called Framework 30 Minute Back and Bicep Workout. To be completely honest, my like chest <laughs> is still super, super, super so depending on what exercises we do in this workout, if anything overlaps with chest muscles, I'm gonna be in pain. But we're gonna keep pushing through, we're gonna get today done, because tomorrow is our first rest day of this program, so we can do it, you guys. every workout video she puts this text on the screen that's like you are epic <laughs> you already feel epic by finishing the workout and then she just like reminds you of it and it's like yes okay so total run time on that one is 34 minutes 25 seconds and total calories is 116 this one had a bit more variance in the structure most of the exercises were 30 seconds active but some of them were a minute active some were paired as supersets and then some were like quad sets. I don't know how you call like a four set. Quadruple set? Quad set? I don't know. There was definitely a lot of repeating again in this one. I know repeating exercises is so effective you guys but it's just it's still not my thing. I would just rather not have repeats. But overall, I think this workout was again very effective. I think all of her workouts are. Definitely focused on the back and the biceps as mentioned in the title of this workout. But something else that I also appreciated in this workout is that there was some more core engagement as well. In the previous two workouts I've done, I mean, you always engage your core no matter what you're doing. You really should be engaging your core, but this one definitely had more 
obvious intense core engagement with a few of the plank variations that we did. For intensity on this one, I'm going to say 9.4. <laughs> I'm getting super picky with the decimal points this week because I know all her workouts are probably gonna be between nine and 10, and I don't want them all to be like the same score. <laughs> so yeah, 9.4 for this one. It was definitely the least intense so far that I've tried this week, but definitely still quite intense. For fun factor, I am going to give this one a 7.5. Again, I think it was super effective. Definitely feel very worked out in my back and everything, but it's just this type of structure is just not my style. I will have to say though, Caroline does do a better job at encouraging you through it and making the repeats less boring somehow than some other channels do. I think that's it for this one. Tomorrow is a rest day. Actually, she mentioned that tomorrow should be an active rest day, so I'm going to find some sort of a good active rest day activity to do tomorrow, but I will update you then. You guys, you don't understand how sore I am today. So my hamstrings, like, I can barely move them. They hurt so much. My upper body is actually feeling a bit better today. Basically recovered. There might be a couple of stiff spots, but my hamstrings, like it takes me 20 seconds to sit down on the floor because like my hamstrings are so tight. <laughs> so today for my active recovery day, I have decided to do Caroline's 20 minute unwind stretch. Keep it in the Caroline family. I was thinking of doing yoga. Usually when I do yoga, I follow this app that I have called Down Dog or I do a live Zoom class. But but just to stay true to this program, I'm going to stick with Caroline stretching today. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do five minutes of handstands because I've been currently doing five minutes of handstands every single day. You will see that in a future video, so stay tuned for that. And it's also a nice day out today, so I'm going to go out on a leisurely walk by the lake after. That's basically my plan today. You guys, I literally feel so much better now after doing that. <sighs> My hamstrings are definitely feeling so much better than they were when I woke up this morning. I also had a very good handstand day today, very consistent, but again, that will be a separate video, so look out for that one in the next week, couple weeks or so. In terms of the stretch, I actually have reviewed and rated that one in a previous YouTube video, so I'm not gonna rate it again today just because, you know, I've done it already and I don't wanna repeat things, but if you're curious to see what my flexi and fun score for it are, check out my I Tried 7 Viral Stretch videos. I think that's what that video is called. I'll link it up over here. <laughs> that is it for today, recovery day. Definitely very well needed. I'm feeling a lot better after the stretch and I'm gonna have a nice walk today as well. So see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, the day has finally come. It is calisthenics day. So this workout is also 30 minutes long, roughly. It's all body weight. I'm gonna be honest, still feeling a little stiff, but it's definitely not like excruciating pain as it was yesterday. To be honest, if I wasn't doing this Caroline challenge, I would still give my legs a bit of a break. Maybe just do an upper body or core workout today. But I did challenge myself to do this week. So we will be moving forward and doing this calisthenics workout as per schedule. And tomorrow's another rest day as well anyways. We can push through, we can do it, let's go. <laughs> You guys, I am so mad. <laughs> So I started that workout, all was going well. I was doing my thing, my camera was recording, I was moving my body, and then at 33% into the workout, and I know it was exactly 33% because Caroline puts like status bars on her workouts to show you how much of it you've done so far. It was at exactly 33% when I decided to check my Apple Watch to see how much time had passed by, how many calories so far, that sort of thing. I was just curious. And then I noticed my calorie counter on my watch had not started. 
<laughs> I was so mad and like you know on a regular basis I wouldn't be mad if I was just doing this for myself But I'm doing this challenge and I'm recording it for you And like that's my purpose of my YouTube channel is showing you these statistics and what I think about these workouts I was just like I have done a third of this workout and I haven't been tracking I'm gonna have nothing to show you at the end of the workout <laughs> So yeah, I was so mad at myself. I came up with a game plan and I was very mad about it I was just gonna continue the workout into the end right before the stretching part started rewind back to the beginning Beginning and then do the first 33% of the workout again and like this is a 30 minute workout So 33% is 10 minutes and in Caroline Gervin world 10 minutes is a lot because her workouts are so intense So yeah, I did that and then after that I skipped back to the end to do the cool down stretch but like you guys <laughs> and <laughs> One more thing, the first 33% of the workout, can you guess what the focus was? It was legs my poor hamstrings rest in peace. Anyways, to finish my rant, I do have the final statistics for you because yeah, I repeated the first part. So total run time says 33 minutes and 32 seconds after all that fiasco, and total calories is 178. So this was definitely a very effective calorie burner. To talk about it, each exercise was 45 seconds long and the structure of this workout was supersets again. So it was 45 on, 45 on, and then it was only 20 second breaks in between. There were no repeats really. Like, there a lot of variations of different types of lunge squats which like I had to repeat <laughs> again <laughs> but yeah definitely less repeaty than all the ones I've done so far this one definitely resembled a workout closer to what I would do personally this was definitely my jam loved it so much even though you know the fiasco and I'm mad about that but like <laughs> I'm a dummy let's just move on from that so for my ratings for intensity, I'm going to give this one a 10. For fun factor, I'm going to give this one a nine. As I said, yeah, this one was way more my type of jam. It's definitely a workout that I will do again in the future. And yeah, that's it. I think that's all I have to say. So tomorrow is another rest day, but it's like, an actual rest day where like yesterday it was supposed to be an active rest day so my plan is maybe I'll just do some foam rolling tomorrow I'm definitely gonna do my five minutes of handstands just because that's a personal goal I've committed to separate from this challenge my hamstrings are probably going to be more than dead again and then we have one more workout for this week so we're almost there <laughs> I'm just gonna go get a snack and try to not beat myself up too much about what I just did I will see you later <laughs> okay so surprisingly I'm not actually that sore today I thought I was gonna be super sore again, especially in my hamstrings after yesterday I'm actually feeling okay, but I'm still gonna go with my plan I'm gonna do five minutes of handstands and then I'm just gonna do a quick little foam roll sesh and that'll be it for today You guys, we have made it to the last day of our epic heat week. This one sounds like it's really going to kill me. The title of this video is called Disciplined Dumbbell Hit Workout. Yeah, it's the last day, so let's go out with a bang. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. One second, I'm gonna wipe my face off. Okay, I wiped off <laughs> the most of it at least. Okay, so clearly this one was very intense. To give you the stats, run time on this one, 32 minutes, 58 seconds. Total calories is 198, so it's the highest calorie burning workout, whatever you wanna call it for this week. Definitely very, very good. I loved this one absolutely love this one it was so well-rounded there were a lot of like squats and legs and you know all that kind of stuff I don't really like in there but basically every single squat was mixed in with like some sort of an upper body exercise so it didn't really feel squat focused and the upper body portion of that compound movement really distracted you from the fact that you're doing squats which <laughs> works really well for me the structure of this one was 30 seconds active each exercise with a very well-needed 15 second break in between each 
each and then each exercise was basically repeated two times or if it was like a single side exercise you just did the other side in the repeat so it wasn't really a repeat so yeah wow I really enjoyed this one I had actually never done a dumbbell hit before I had only done body weight hit and I will say I really like this style of workout I will definitely be doing this exact workout again in the future as well as maybe some other workouts of the same style that she might also have on her channel so to get to my ratings on this one I'm gonna give intensity a 9.9 .9. now if this were any other YouTube video I would 100% give this one a 10 but just because I've already rated the calisthenics and also the chest and triceps work at a 10 I feel like this one didn't kill me as much as those ones even though I'm clearly more sweaty and everything I think that's just because you know due to the nature of hit and cardio and all that sort of thing but I definitely had to take more breaks and modify in those other workouts so this one was Slightly less intense, so a 9.9, .9, but really a 10. <laughs> and then for fun factor on this one, I'm gonna give it a 10. I am telling you, I loved it, and there were squats galore in this workout, and somehow I still liked it. So weird. So yeah, that's it. We finished Epic Heat Week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we died a little bit. My hamstrings left for a couple days, but you know, we survived. <laughs> I'm gonna gather all my thoughts about this week and my experience, and I'll come back to you with my final thoughts. Okay, you guys. Guys, that is it for Caroline Gerben week. We have finished week two of her epic heat program. So just to show you all of my rankings for the workouts this week, here they are on screen. If there was one workout out of all of these that I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend, it would 100% be the dumbbell hit that I did today. It was just so fun. So effective, loved that one. My final thoughts on the program. Yes, it's hard, but I feel like it is sustainable just because of the way she splits up the week. It's not like you're doing booty every single day or cardio every single day or upper body every single day. It does have a good split. I thought the way that she scheduled the rest days was pretty interesting. Usually for these types of workout programs, I've noticed the structure is more like three days active, one day rest, two days active, one day rest, and then you start again. But with hers, she did the three days active, one day rest, one day active, one day rest, and then one day active again. So it was a little different, but I did like that. I found myself like eating a lot this past week. Like my appetite, I feel like because I was exerting so much energy in these workouts, I just needed to fill myself back up. So I was definitely like, a little bit hungrier than I usually am, which is pretty funny. So would I do this program myself on a regular basis? I feel like doing one week at a time is good for me. I still, you know, I still want to do my dance party workouts, my Pilates, just kind of other types of things worked in within the schedule. But with Caroline's program, everything's so intense. It's like my body has no more energy to do more Pilates or more dance party or anything. So I definitely do this like one week at a time, but I personally wouldn't do it straight for a full month. I'll Although I know that some people do and like you are great for doing that. I just like a little bit more variety. Overall, loved this program. I'm so happy I finally tried a Caroline week for the first time. Definitely kicked my butt and also finally forced me to buy dumbbells for my home. So yeah, that is it for this one. I hope you liked this video. If there are any other weekly programs you would like me to try, please leave it in the comments. Give me a like on this video and if you like me, subscribe, do the bell thing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.